What's up, nerds, and welcome back to the Overwatch League Network Power Rankings. Every Wednesday, we're going to be bringing you guys our weekly power rankings that we have averaged out across all of our podcast host votes. So now, let's get onto the rankings for Season 2, Stage 1, Week 4. At number 20, we do have the Washington Justice still searching for that illustrious first win. At number 19, we do have the Los Angeles Valiant. Things have frankly gone from bad to worse, and they have been embracing their win zero emote from the Overwatch League Twitch page, but costly mistakes with the support ultimate management and some of the bubbles we've been seeing have plagued the Valiant in stage one. At number 18, we do have the Florida Mayhem. Ever so close to beating the charge last week, but Florida is still looking for their second win and do remain fairly low on the list. At number 17, we do have the Houston Outlaws. At number 16, the Los Angeles Gladiators. And the inconsistency of this team, even with the addition of Decay, sure, it's worrying a lot of fans, but we honestly expect this team to find their rhythm, find those synergies soon enough, and show some positive results. At number 15, the Boston Uprising. Fusions is back in the starting lineup with his shiny new contract, but we will need to see more consistent play from Color Hex if we expect to see the uprising continue moving up our list. At number 14, we have the Chengdu Hunters. At number 13, we have the Shanghai Dragons. I mean, getting that next W in the win column is not the story anymore. We're only looking forward to the future behind a confident Gamsu and uh, frankly a team that I just enjoy watching every week possibly because of the emotional narrative but either way congrats to Shanghai at number 12 we do have the Seoul Dynasty the solar coaster does continue but I am not going anywhere as a fan with the addition of highly and illicit just being announced we're interested to see if that lights a fire under the dynasty's paws at number 11 the Dallas Fuel. They edged out a win over the Dragons due to a disastrous C9 on Dorado. And Unko's backline presence has brought a ton of added pressure to the enemy front line, leading to more opening frags for Dallas. And they are looking pretty good. At number 10, we do have the Hangzhou Spark, a team that really kind of was one of the hot Chinese expansion teams coming into this season and certainly over the first week or so but now they have passed that mantle over to the Guangzhou Charge coming in at number nine the Charge are right in the mix with five other teams at three and two but with matches coming up against the Gladiators and the Titans to finish off this stage we are going to find out what they are made of at number eight we have the London Spitfire we slept on the Spitfire and now we're all looking at them as a waking giant. And at the moment, if the playoff state, the stage playoffs happen today, London is making the cut. We certainly have a couple more weeks left. We'll see how the standings play out, but we did not see them being in this position after the rough start that they had. The Philadelphia Fusion are at number seven. At number six, we have the San Francisco Shock. I mean, they made quick work of the spark, and the Justice this week, but let's see if they can keep that momentum up against the New York Excel and the Paris Eternal in week four. At number five, we do have the Paris Eternal. They certainly stumbled this week for the first time against Atlanta, but they still remain a team that everyone is going to respect, and they do have a fairly tough schedule to finish off this stage. At number four, we have the Toronto Defiant. Uh, they continue to make waves despite changes to their support line. Ivy has truly come into his own. He is sporting 21 el eliminations per 10 minutes this stage, while still ranking third in damage per 10 minutes, only trailing Sinatra and Soman Su. At number three, we do have the Atlanta Reign. For my money, that grab on Hollywood was one of the most fun plays in Overwatch League history. Heck, Overwatch history. And the inspiration came from Reddit. And I just think that's kind of cool that the fans and the pros and the people that play this game are making those kind of connections. At number two, we have the Vancouver Titans. Every corner of this team is loaded with talent, 
So let's sprinkle in a little bit of fun, a little bit of synergy, and you are looking at a recipe that is scaring a lot of teams in the Overwatch League this season. And at number one, we do have the New York Excelsior. Ednar wanted me to make a very specific note that he did not put the New York Excelsior as number one on his list. He had the Titans at number one, but he wanted me to say that New York Excel can get back to number one on his list by getting wins against non-bottom tier teams, shots fired. Please toss us a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Go to OWLNshow.com and check out the details for our podcast, Patreon, Twitch, and Discord. Thanks for listening.